This video is for companies that want to share a Microsoft Access database amongst multiple employees that have standard time running on multiple workstations. You can have a Microsoft Access database on a file server in a folder and standard time can access that database from multiple employee workstations. Now if you have more than let's say 8 to 10 users or employees you might consider using Microsoft SQL Express now, SQL Express is another free Microsoft database that Standard Time works with, and it is a little more robust. But if you have less than 10 users and you want to share a Microsoft Access database, this is the uh, video for you. First thing to look at would be the name of the file DSN that's shown in the title bar here in the brackets, square brackets. You can see that by going to the file menu and choosing database. You see the name there. You also see some steps below here that allow you to or tell you how to create a new file DSN. But what we're going to do is actually alter an existing file DSN that is installed on your machine uh, right after you install standard time. We're just going to change it so that it reaches across the network to a shared database. The first thing you'll want to do is copy the standard time MDB database from your documents standard time folder into a network folder and you can see that I've done that here this is the network location and this is the standard time database that I've copied there so I'm now going to point each of the workstations to this database so now I've opened up the control panel because we're going to edit the file DSN so that it no longer points to a local database on the local machine but rather it reaches over the, the network to a file server location and so we're going to go into system and security administrative tools data sources ODBC I'll click on the file DSN and scroll to the end and you see the file DSN that I'm going to edit Just a quick note about 64-bit uh, windows. Um, if you are running 64-bit windows, you will have to open the ODBC administrator from this location. Uh, you may find that you cannot edit it with 64-bit windows on the normal ODBC administrator that we went to before. So you may want to pause the video, write down this location, and open up this version of the ODBC administrator. So, we've got the correct version of the ODBC administrator running, uh, either for 64-bit or 32-bit windows. We click on the file DSN that we saw the name of over in standard time. And next, we're just going to configure that so that it no longer points to a local database, but rather reaches out over the network to a network folder. So let's click Configure, then click Select, and then type in the name of the file server. Now that we're here, we can navigate into a folder and then select the new standard time in that folder location that you see here. Click OK. You see the path here so that you now know that you're connected across the network to a server folder location for the database. Click OK. We can click OK to close the ODBC administrator. I simply launched standard time after changing the file DSN and I now see that I'm connected to a database that some other people had put some projects into. One of the things you will have to make sure of is that you choose file exit if standard time is running while you're working on that file DSN. Then relaunch standard time and it will connect to the new database. You'll still see the name of the file DSN here in the title bar if you go to the file menu and choose database you'll still see the same name but we have rerouted that file DSN so that it no longer connects to the local database so once you've connected to a shared database you can go to the tools menu choose users and organization you can set up users here that can that can connect to your database and can share data 
You can also go to the Tools menu and choose Projects, add your projects here, and they will all show up in each employee's timesheet as you see here. So hopefully this has been of some assistance in getting Standard Time connected to a shared Microsoft Access database.